live, deep in the heart of West Texas. It is the James Hendrick Show, coming to you from the Hendrick Center, the Hendrick School for Public Affairs and Government. Brent Clark, your guest host extraordinaire. Hey folks, welcome on board. It's nice to be able to have you sit and talk with you about something that's important. Now, we are covering the news, like I said, this time... With me at the helm, we are covering, covering the news. Jimmy asked for a break for the day, and so we're going to give it to him. Don't you guys get ready. This is the uh, current... I want you to listen to this. Something that President Biden said. If we can access it. Well, he's saying that uh, white supremacy is wrong and racism is wrong. I, I, well, you know, I got, I got to say, I agree. I agree. See, and some liberals and media types want to label conservatives that way, thinking that <laughs> we're using uh, shootings and rocks like that. That ain't the conservative way. Sure ain't my way. Sorry, drinking me a glass of mint tea. Guys, come on. Why do we keep using the labels of race? That's not like old J.R. and Jimmy. S- so many people using those political, uh, politically correct, um, Catchphrases. Uh, African American. Uh, visually impaired. Well, some of us in Generation X are about ready to say, you know what? Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Trump is not a white national. Okay? He can be a bit reactive. But he's he's not he's not a white nationalist. He's trying to defend us America first. Now I ain't gonna go into how the progressives see history versus how um we conservatives federalists see history, okay? There's plenty of plenty of podcasts out there that can talk about that. But uh Jimmy and I agree this ain't a part of the James Hendricks show. Alright? Now let me keep my eye out for some other... Oh, yeah, Israel is thinking about increasing military exercises. You know, I don't blame them with the nuclear Iran going on, uh, nuclear Iran going on, and you know, some of the terrorist cells and everything. We have got to be careful, folks. We have got to be careful. So I want you to think about that, how important this is. Conservative Federalists stand. Christian Federalists stand with Israel. You say, how do you know that? Because Christian Federalists read their Bibles. And they know that their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, grew up and was raised and died in the promised land of Israel, which God promised to them. That's what makes us conservative Christian Federalists a bit different. And some of these uh, beltway conservatives. So, guys, let's 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 not play uh, piddle fart. I'm gonna give one more story, and then we're uh, we're gonna do it uh, cash cow style. One story out of CBN News: The recount is expected in Pennsylvania. Well, you know, I was expecting that. With Dr. Oz and, 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 and several of the names, uh, some conservative pundits say, you know, there is a Cruz versus Trump thing going on in the primaries. All right, I can understand there's some healthy competition. I ain't got no problem with that. This is off election year. <coughs> so, 
So many people on the left and the right complain about identity politics. This is our identity. We are Christian Federalists, okay? Traditional values. Willing to meet the other side halfway, but not too much. Not as far as compromising on principles, okay? And I'm ready to say about having enough of that, you know? And I hope, I sure as heck hope you are too. Because this, this is something, I'm going to keep this brief. Hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving most daily updates. And this is Brent Clark saying until next time, Jim will be back, to, Jim will be back tomorrow. Until next time, take care. And y'all become more pre- proactively informed, okay? Don't believe everything that's on the main news media, left or right. Check out. Learn from a Christian perspective. Y'all take care. God bless.